And 20 years in the game, you must have had some some days or months that didn't feel like you were moving forward. What, what was the time when you felt like giving up on music? Oh, all the time. <laughs> I mean, not necessarily giving up, but I mean, you know, shit gets tough. Even when, even when it's up, it's tough. You know, sometimes it even gets even more tough. So uh, I think it's just about staying balanced. There's different times, different phases in my career. Like I've been doing music since before I was 16. So I've gone through a lot of a lot of hills and valleys. It's like a roller coaster. It's just maintaining that balance in between and, and just keeping it pushing. And I think in the picture I'd said, you know, sometimes not quitting is progress. And I feel that way a lot of the times, you know, just keeping going. That's that's the most important thing. Okay, how did you convince yourself to keep going? Because as you said, even when it's up, like I'll have I'll have moments where it might just be one day and it feels devastating, even though the day before everything was was beautiful. Right, you're on how, fire. How, you can't miss the day before. Yeah, right. And then and then the next day, it's still not even a, that bad of a day. But there's just something going on in my head. Where I'm like, this isn't good. What like what's gonna happen? So how do you overcome those moments of self doubt and just keep going? Because I agree with you that. If you're stubborn enough to not give up, you're automatically like five steps ahead of your peers who who might quit at any given moment. Well, I just love it. I just love it. I'm so curious about it, and I'm just a fan. And so I just see so much opportunity and ability to be creative and different things. I didn't choose a regular job, so I don't have regular <laughs> regular issues. You know, I got different issues, still issues, but. It's just uh, keeping everything in focus. I think also, I kinda, too, I put time into my craft. That's the main thing. I didn't say that. I put time into my craft, so I know what I'm doing is dope as fuck. And I feel like I'm bringing something to the marketplace. I'm bringing something to everything that I'm doing. Me and my squad are bringing something fresh every time to something. So I feel like we're doing a service by pushing ourselves so hard into uh, the sound design world like we were before with the Hollywood movie trailers and stuff, and then now in the NFT world. Um, I always feel like we're doing something different and something fresh and innovative. And I don't think there's a lot of people doing that. And so when I see stuff kind of stagnant, I see an opportunity as opposed to being like, oh, this is what the going radio is. A lot of people are like, oh, that's just what's going. I'm like, oh, so we can do anything. If that's what's going, we can just really go crazy and, uh, and really go wild. So, I mean, it's an opportunity to be creative. 